Continuing coverage after plans for a proposed granite quarry in Crawford County is upsetting the Girl Scouts of Historic Georgia. Our Gloria Ruth Finney is live in the studio after visiting Camp Martha Johnson to hear why they don't want the plans approved. Gloria Ruth? That's right, Greg. The camp located on Girl Scout Road. But the problem there is those pushing for the quarry plan to build it on the same road. And the Girl Scouts say in looking at evidence of other quarries, they could be faced with the slew of negative impacts. I've never heard where a Girl Scout camp is, is going to be literally forced out of their own camp. And to my knowledge, no one in the state of Georgia has had to deal with a rock quarry in the Girl Scouts. Now, Camp Martha Johnston, a Girl Scout camp in Crawford County, could face a detrimental future if the commission decides to approve plans of Cottondale Partners, Heisel Timber, and the Verstige family of Sweden. The track record that they've left as far as uh, with violations and, and, and um, issues that have left the environment, you know, not as healthy as when they found it. Karen Hicks is chair of the Macon Advisory Board for the Historic Girl Scouts of Georgia. She says despite what those partners say pushing for the quarry, quarries create water contamination, health problems, and disruptive blasts. Those companies, they may take care of it financially, but you can't replace what you've done to the environment. For water to be tainted here or to simply not exist, what would that mean for Martha Johnson? Sweetwater Creek is in why Camp Martha Johnson was erected. That's because four natural springs were found here when the land was donated in 1925. Since then, the camp has hosted as many as 50,000 girls, with around 500 girls attending this camp each year. Being able to come to Camp Martha Johnson brings you into a whole new world. Soon, that world could be damaged. Take a visual with me. It's your daughter that's laying in bed. It's two o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden there's blasts going off at the quarry. I know if it was my daughter, she would be petrified. Petrifying blast as rock is pulverized using toxic flammables. She says it's harmful to people and to the wildlife. What's the plan for the future if this goes through? You know, Gloria, there is no contingency plan. I don't know what we'll do. You know, there's no way to replace it a uh, hundred year old Girl Scout camp. Though planning and zoning did push the quarry forward, the commission could say no quarry in Crawford on July 18th at the next meeting. Reporting live in the studio, Gloria Ruth Finney, WGXA News.